All right, let's go ahead and add a new canvas. We're gonna click this little black box right here and we're gonna change this, the width and the height of a new canvas to 3000. That way we have a perfectly square canvas. Next thing we wanna do, go to our brushes and in the calligraphy set of brushes right here, we're gonna click the monoline brush. We're gonna go ahead and click this again. It'll bring the brush studio up and I wanna go down to where it says about this brush. I'm gonna go ahead and reset all settings. All right, I'm gonna start a line right here from the bottom left-hand side and go all the way up to about right here. I don't want it directly right here. I'm gonna change the size of the brush. You can change the size of the brush on the uh, left-hand side here. That's still too thin. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to our brush, go back to monoline, I'm gonna click that again. It'll bring back up the brush studio. Go to where it says properties, and we're gonna change the maximum size. We're gonna bring that up about halfway. And All right, let's go. So click done. Go back to the canvas. We'll start off right here. Let's bring that down a little bit. It's about, let's do 50. 50%, all right, let's go. Bottom left corner, bring it all the way up. Did y'all see where that snapped in place? Let me do that again. So. If your lines aren't straight, you can hold down the brush and it'll straighten it out for you. It's pretty neat. So let's do this again. We're gonna go from the bottom left-hand side here, go up, and then we're gonna, that's perfect. All right, we're gonna go ahead and save this, okay? Go ahead and click the wrench right here. Save it as a PNG and save image. All right, now let's go ahead and go back to our brushes right here. We're gonna click this blue box, the plus sign in it, and it'll say untitled set. I have a bunch of untitled sets because I've just been messing around with stuff. Next thing we wanna do, click the plus right here. It'll bring this up. All right, let's go ahead and go down to where it says shape. <clears throat> There's a little edit box right here. Let's go ahead and click that. And we're, we're gonna click import. Import a photo, last saved image. Let's go ahead and take two fingers and tap on the screen. It should bring this up. Now, if you don't tap on the screen, whenever you write, it'll have this whole box. So you won't have much of a a slant on your on your lettering, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and cancel that out. That way we have one solid white line. Let's go ahead and click done. All right, and y'all can see over here what the brush is gonna look like. Let's go ahead and click done. All right, so let's go ahead and add a new layer. So click your layers right here. Click the plus sign. Let's go ahead and uncheck the layer one. And we're gonna try writing something. And you can see the transparency too. So what we're gonna do here, go back to the brush Click back on the brush you created. We're gonna go up to where it says stroke path. We're gonna bring the spacing all the way down. We're gonna take the stabilization. We're gonna bring that all the way up. 
And then down where it says Apple Pencil, we're gonna bring the opacity all the way down. That way we have one solid brush, okay? Everything else looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and erase this right here. So two fingers on the screen. There we go. And that is your brush. Let's go ahead and do a couple things. <clears throat> I'm gonna change the background color. Y'all can do this too. Let's do a... Let's do a light gray. And I'm gonna change my brush color to a white. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on this uh, wrench right here. I'm gonna go to where it says canvas. We're gonna click drawing guide, and then edit drawing guide. I'm gonna bring my grid up about halfway. Whoa, yeah, let's do about halfway. Go ahead and click done. I'm gonna write, let's, let's do the word love again. So as you can see, it's already at, a, at an angle starting off. So that's that's cool, it works. Let's go and bring this size up a little bit. So the trick here is to come up with it and bring it down. Come up, bring it down. Just go ahead and angle, okay? Make sure you go with the angle too. Pretty cool brush. I'm gonna go ahead and add a new canvas. I'm gonna go back to my gallery. Add a canvas. Let's do the screen size. I'm gonna change the background color. Let's do a gray again. Go back to the tool. Click on a drawing guide. Edit drawing guide. Change the size of the grid a little bit below halfway go and click oh yeah you can also change the grid color too this little color bar up here change it back to let's do white go and click done I want to write the word minimum it's definitely good practice with this brush. So, go ahead and angle. Bring it's too big. Let's see. There we go. There's an M. Okay. This takes a lot of practice, so. Please don't get discouraged. The more you do it, the better you're gonna get it, I promise you. It's like starting anything new. M I N I <laughs> It's gonna look crazy once it's like written out. M U and M minimum. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go ahead and dot the eyes. This part's tricky. You got to find out where you put the eyes. Oh. 
All right, and that is the word minimum. All right, this this next part's pretty freaking cool. Let's go ahead and click back on our layers right here. Go ahead and click on layer one, and it should bring this box up over here. We're gonna click alpha lock. So whatever we do, anything that we write will only be on what we wrote, okay? Go and, cl go and click back on the brushes. We're gonna go down to the airbrushing set, okay? So let's go ahead and click on that. Now, I prefer the medium brush. That's the one I like the most. It's already highlighted. Let's go over here, change the color of the brush. Let's do like a light blue. I'm gonna scoot this over to the middle of my canvas. So what you wanna do is this little arrow up here, you wanna click that. And then we're just gonna drag it over just a little bit. Perfect, let's go and click back on our brush. All right, so we are ready to start painting, okay? So just gently have your pen on the screen and we're gonna go side to side, all right? And that's what it does. That's pretty cool, man. Let's change, I wanna change the background color. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase that. Go back to our layers. Background color. Let's do a let's do a brown. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and take this grid off here. So all you have to do is go back to the tool and click drawing guide. That's simple. I'm gonna choose, uh, let's do a, let's do a dark gray. Start painting. Kinda looks like a metal or something, doesn't it? Start up here, kinda work your way down too. Freaking sick, man. I like that. I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and um, erase all that. Back to my layers. I'm gonna go ahead and add a new layer. I'm gonna take this layer two and hold it down. I'm gonna drag it. That way it's under the layer one. I'm gonna go back to my brushes. I'm gonna go back to the calligraphy set of brushes right here. Go back to monoline. This is kind of the same concept as my last video. Oh, excuse me, my last video. I'm gonna choose the color black. And what I wanna do is kind of just go around. I'm gonna trace the letters, but it'll have a an outline behind it. All right, now let's go back to our brush. Go back to airbrushing. Go back to layer one. I'm gonna gently paint.
a different color. Let's do a hot pink. On this one right here, I'm gonna kind of go at an angle. Push harder for darker lines. Change the background color, try something new. Dang, that really pops out, man. I'm gonna go back to layer two. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this off. So just take your pencil and slide to the left. And then I'm gonna click delete. I'll go ahead and add another layer. Bring layer two below layer one. Go back to my brush. Back on this brush, let's see, let's choose the color black. And kind of tracing it. A little bit thicker. Properties. Bring the minimum size all the way up. Just kind of messing around. Pretty cool. I want to try Let's um do this with me too you all. Do this with me. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take the pink off here. Go back to my layers. I'll go ahead and delete layer two again. I'm gonna uncheck the alpha lock. I'm gonna change the color to black. All right. So just click on the color right here. I'm gonna just drag it down. Next thing we want to do, go back to layers, slide this over, we're going to click duplicate. Click back on the bottom one, we're going to click on this arrow, and we're going to bring this down to an angle. Go back to the layers. And as you can see, it looks like one big blur. So I'm gonna click on this little N right here. And it'll bring this up right here. And where it says opacity, we're gonna bring this down. And that gives it the 3D look. So back to layer one up here on the top. I'm gonna click that again. Click alpha lock. Let's do, let's do the color white. Go back to my brush. Go down to airbrushing. 
I'll change my size of the brush. That's pretty freaking cool too, man. Just to wear the minimum itself, it flows so well. Taking some pictures as I'm videoing. All right. I'm going to erase this. Change the background color to, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this right here. That way we're just working on one layer for now. Change the background color to white. Click back on the layers. I'm gonna duplicate this again. Go back to layer one. Click on the arrow, we're gonna bring this down again. Now to see what we're working with, I'm gonna go back up here to this one, the top one. I'll bring that down just a tad bit. And then, um, where's I going with this? Let's see, we'll figure it out. I actually want to bring that back up just a tad bit. See, it's always good to turn down the opacity to see what you're working with. Let's see what layer we're on. Okay, we are on layer one, of course. Both of them are layer one, but we're going to be working on the bottom one. We're going to go to this little wand tool right here, and where it says, I don't know if it's Gaussian blur. We're going to call it Gaussian Blur. Gaussian, Gaussian. We'll click that. And then what this does, it's going to blur it out. Okay, it's going to blur out the, the dark letters here. So, pencil on the screen. We're going to slide over. Didn't work. Let's do it again. There we go. Okay. Pencil on the screen. The background is blurred. Go back to the layers. Go up here to layer one. Click on the little N. Bring the opacity up. Let's go back to this layer here. I'm gonna blur the background out even more. Let's bring this down. So if we can change the color real quick, I'm gonna try something. Let's do a gray. Oh, that worked freaking perfect. Looks like it's floating on the screen, dude. Go back to the wand, Gaussian blur. Blur just a little bit more. That is freaking sweet. Change the color real quick. This is so much fun, dude. Let's do a dark green. Make it a little bit lighter. I want to alpha lock this again. Heck yeah, man. I'm going to bring this side down, too. Just want to test out some different colors. Different colors! I'm going to get a picture of this real quick.
Let's try blue. Blue? That's what my little boy says. Blue? <laughs> so freaking cute, man. I'm not much on that blue. We'll do a purple. Alpha lock. Oh my gosh, dude, that's freaking sick. You can even add some, um, add some, um, <laughs> go back to my calligraphy set of brushes here, go back to the monoline, I'm gonna change the size of the brush, add some little, some random stuff like that it looks like glitter really so four fingers on the screen if you use four fingers it'll take away the tools and stuff And that is that brush. So y'all have fun with it. Don't get discouraged. Keep practicing over and over and over again. If you tried 100 times, try 100 more. I mean, this didn't happen for me overnight. And that's Fia barking. Probably barking at a grasshopper or a frog or something. She's so funny, man. Sweet dog. I wanna change, let's do a neon green. Agree on neon. <laughs> let's see. So alpha locked. That is freaking trippy. All right. That is it, you all. Thank you all for watching. Thanks, everyone. Thank you everyone for your support. It's it's definitely a blessing to help other people out there. And if you are scared to make a video, do it anyways. I know you don't like the sound of y'all's voices whenever you hear a recording or something or you end up stuttering or because I stutter a lot, you know. It is what it is, man. But as long as I'm helping somebody. I'm content. Share your artwork. It's all fun, y'all. It's all fun. All right. Till next video. Peace.